This is Dan Riley for Passionate World Internet Radio. Sometimes both parties tell a Donald Trump-sized lie to the public. As a guy who despises those willing to trample on kids' dreams as much as the guidance counselors who lie to kids, I had to make this episode. This is a case where both liberals and conservatives have done their kids no favors over the last few decades. Amidst an election none of us could possibly look forward to, we have to rethink the way we talk to poli- about politics to kids. And for that matter, think about it, period. In 2014, an article on truthout.org explored the idea anyone could become president. You, me, our next door neighbor, our friend from college, anybody. Look, we already saw a black man become president, and we may actually have a woman become president. So it's not reasonable to keep saying those can't happen, there'll be absurd arguments going forward. Problem is, we fail to admit too many kids, regardless of background, face long odds to become president. In 2014, truthout.org pointed out some disturbing statistics that put that myth to bed. The site studied the 18 presidents during the 20th and 21st century up until the year 2014, and the odds were always against you and me winding up in the Oval Office. First off, among all those presidents... Only Harry Truman did not graduate college. Given most Americans don't have a degree from a major university, and it kind of reeks of elitism, we still don't tell kids if you want to run the country, you'd improve your odds with a degree hanging on your wall. Barack Obama graduated from Columbia and Harvard, Gerald Ford had a degree from the University of Michigan, and George W. Bush is a Yale alumnus. Second, with only two parties to choose from, most Americans wouldn't fit into the left-right spectrum and wouldn't be welcome in either party nowadays. That drops a kid's odds even more. It's simple. So few jobs to so many people that want them. Also, we fail to realize that certain kinds of colleges usually create presidents, and that's Ivy League institutions. This is is disturbing, again, elitism, if you will. But for some reason, people in the United States prefer someone from an Ivy League school running the country. In the end, going forward... We have to correct others when they say anyone can become president, as well as starting to be honest with kids by the time they reach high school about the odds they're going to be running the country. 
while it would be amazing for it to happen, the odds are just against far too many, regardless of background. Even though it would be amazing that anyone would want to be a part of politics nowadays. Sometimes you just have to have a backup plan. This is Dan Riley for Passionate World Internet Radio. Thank you so much for tuning in and so long.